anyway, like, people are like, ooh, like that. But I always am like, <laughs> I always have like 500 different items on me. So, future edit Laura, you can skip ahead to the pack with me. We're gonna start off with the unboxing. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to doing an unboxing and a pack with me. We are getting ready to go to Palisades Tahoe and I am so excited because I get to experience more of like the cooler weather and get more a little bit more out of that until it starts getting super warm in Sacramento. So let's do this. Some coffee. Relax everybody if you want to join me for some coffee. My scissors and we have we're gonna get right to it, okay? Oh, okay, so this is, this is a cord to my laptop because what I'm trying to do lately is, I think I pretty much have one of everything. It was such a hassle to try to unload everything in my backpack so then I can take it to a coffee shop and work that but i'm so excited to have this because it makes everything so much easier <gasps> compression socks okay uh, now i'm kind of like totally into merino wool because i know that it breathes better and i don't know i've been lately hearing about microplastics in water and they said sometimes it comes from the laundry okay anyway so this is the pink i actually thought it was going to be lighter um, this is a tech organizer. It has three different pockets here. Two pockets here. And then a bigger pocket. And then a separate zipper compartment. And then it has a pocket there and a pocket there. Oh, and then I got these silicone straps. And this is instead of having rubber bands, which give out on you after a while, right? Oh, oh, I bought extra charging cords. Okay, let me, let me open. So I had to buy mar more charging cords because I figured out that you could, uh, one sec. This is the cord that goes into the MacBook. And then did you know you could take this off and it's a USB-C? I had, I'm spitting all over the place. I had no idea you could do that. And then this too can get replaced. I don't know how, to, anyway, this is the cord that goes into the wall, but I don't need to take this big old thing and I could just put, um, I have, oh, I bought a, like a four in one. So it has USB-A, two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports, also from Anchor. And that way I don't have to carry four different charging cords, you know? That's... Okay, so next. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think this is the count. Okay, so I had no idea how much, how many luggage shops companies that are out there. Am replacing a luggage, I'll pop a picture in. And it's a Herschel luggage and I've had it for 10 or more years. And the wheel just, <laughs> I started to hear, I got it replaced and it was like 40 bucks. And I was like, okay. At the time I didn't want to like put another luggage in a landfill and I was trying to be a good student. Uh, no, steward. 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 Anyway, I was trying to be good about, you know, sending stuff to landfill. But then I took it in and it was like $40 and then I kind of ate it, but then it, it sounded okay, but it was different than all the other wheels. So then one day I started to hear it and I think the, the, I think there was like two coatings on it. Like there was an outside wheel and an inside wheel. And I started to hear the wheel and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to replace. At the end of this unboxing, I have a luggage to share. Who also is like, I've, I've been using backpacks forever and I have a Baze 
backpack and another picture will pop up <laughs> i don't want to get up and get it right now but anyway it also has a trolley case i'm big on trolley cases and so i'm trying to see if you know when i get on the plane if i don't have to have anything on my back because that that thing of like getting the backpack off of you and then you're like boom 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 whopping <laughs> everybody is like getting hit with a uh, with a bag while they're sitting there um i don't know if, if you've ever been the receiver on end of that or if you ever like seen yourself like people are like whoa like please don't smack me in the face with your back <laughs> so i'm trying to a different approach so i got this cow pack duffel and it's in the dragon fruit um print and i got it on a um let's see i think this one i got a when i joined the email list it was a welcome join the email list because i think you can get 10 percent off so there is so here's the trolley case and then there's a zipper on the back which is very helpful because it, uh, I don't know about you, but I always feel like I'm trying to slim down with my getting on the plane stuff, but I always am like, <laughs> I always have like 500 different items on me. So this would be good to have the, to have the driver's license. Two strap has a crossbody strap. Um, okay, so but it has the Calpac logo, another zipper in the front, so a zipper pocket in the back strap, and then it has a, ooh, it has two zippers, I love that! There's no inside pocket, would have been nice to have one in the inside, but they don't have it. So later on, we're gonna fill this baby up, hopefully not to the brim, but we'll see. So the luggage that I'm most excited for, or the unboxing part of the unboxing that I'm most excited for, take off luggage! You guys know about this company. So they were a company that with all the budget airlines that are coming online, they, um, you know, the, I've never been on it, but I've heard that they have a restriction for the luggage and you can only bring a carry-on. So what they consider a carry-on is anything that goes underneath the... Well, the parameters I think are 18, 14, 8. So anything that can fit underneath the front row seat of where you are. So the this luggage, it, you can take the wheels off. I've never known a luggage to do that although after buying this i did see a soft shell um, luggage company um, but i put i wanted a hard shell because you know sometimes your uh, your stuff gets knocked around <laughs> and when you have a soft shell you feel worried about inside um what do i mean when you have a soft shell, I have to worry more about the, my inside, the insides of, the inside of the luggage, <laughs> the stuff inside the luggage getting smushed. Anyway, can I talk? Okay, so this is without the wheels. And I heard about this luggage company through It's the Kelly's. So thank you, It's the Kelly's, for your review. And I got the black. I don't, um, I lean towards, um, I don't, I don't, I don't really like two-tone stuff. So, I got the black. I wish they would have had, like, a champagne -y color. But I was also looking at Mono's luggage because of the, because of the zippers and the, like, the luggage container map. I love that. comes with inside the luggage it comes with the wheels and there's four wheels you can also buy other wheels which that kind of scares me i might have to buy wheels just because of my history with wheels and them breaking there is a 
yellow button that's that is standing out. So I guess so you don't so you can see where to push it in. And then they snap in. This part it scares me because I have nails right now. And I don't know how my mom was having a difficult time trying to take these off. Okay. Let me see. So am I. <laughs> She said to do one side and then do the other. Okay, I did it. So I did lean on one side. I pushed more in on one side than I did the other. Okay. So I'm going to put all the wheels on. Do I want to do that? No, I'll take them off. Okay. <laughs> Hold, please. Oh, okay. We're good. I am okay so I'm so excited that's the that's all the unboxing stuff I have so next is going to be the packing yeah okay thanks okay now it's time for packing so I'm actually I did this <laughs> before because I wasn't sure what was gonna fit what was not gonna fit I didn't want to bore you with all those details so I am doing half compression, half knot. So pretty much the, t the bottoms are not going to be in a bag, in a compression bag, or in, I'm just going to lay them right in the luggage. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it, but I'm leaving this out because that's extra bulk. So let's see. And I'm laying it on top. So I'm doing this. Okay, and then here's my third pair. So I'm actually bringing four pairs of denim. And because the fourth pair is going to be some overalls that I got at Aerie and they're super cute, but I'm gonna wear on the drive. And, oh, okay, so, and I'm doing, I'm bringing three pairs of leggings. And that, that's including, uh-oh, I'm, I'm feeling like my hair is falling down. Okay. Okay. Now that that's secured. Okay. And so let me see if I can bring, but I'm putting, okay. The, the denim, like the leggings are going here, the denim leggings. And then I'm putting three pairs of the spandex leggings in here. So jeggings, I guess what they're called and then I'm putting oh so here's the fourth pair of leggings so I'm actually bringing four total including the one that I'm taking on the drive over so that's four leggings four denim bottoms and four spandex bottoms okay I'm putting this is um a sweater and a long sleeve with some masks one long sleeve and five short sleeve and one tank and let me see I'm gonna put the compression straps on first okay and then I put this one here underneath and then I'm gonna smush smush and I'm gonna get all this in here <laughs> this is actually bulkier than when I tried it the first time uh oh it is, it is, it is. Am I gonna have to sit on this? I've seen people do it, but I've never done it myself. Okay, okay, we're done. We're in. Yeah! Yes! Okay. So that is that. What's this? I don't know what I'm gonna. I was. I bought it because I was thinking I needed it. Um. Oh, the tech stuff isn't in here. So that's probably what I'll put in there.
are two stretchy pockets. So, mm -hmm. I did want to know like how much weight you have to put in here in order for it not to circle the, the luggage. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it kind of clumps over, so it's not, they don't have enough structured stuff in there. I wonder if I do this. A little better. Oh, and then I have a scarf. A beanie. It's like two little pom poms for like Mickey beanie. Ooh, most importantly the wheels they come in a little baggie oh skincare i have an eyeshadow brush i have eyeliners some nail clippers i have some makeup wipes a little loomy uh, travel deodorant and some eyeshadow and an um, eyebrow eyebrow gel eyebrow gel and I think that's it I might want to carry this like an extra little zipper bag that I got from it's from the Samantha Brown line because I had replaced all of my packing cubes with compression and now it seems like the, the oh that's a lot of noise it seems like with the compression bags that they actually take up more room because there's because you're sucking all the air out but then it's like creating a like a bump in the in the middle so i didn't i don't think i completely filled those up so i am still keeping them Okay, so that, that's fine. I think I may end up getting the Luca Duffel from Cal, is it Calpac? From Calpac, because it's structured. And the part that kind of bugged me about my last duffel is that it wasn't, it kind of, well, this one's not falling off. It kind of flopped everywhere and then I would have to always like adjust it. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so another water bottle there. Water bottle on this side. So I have two water bottles. Oh, I forgot to also mention. When my dirty clothes are, um, when, they, when I'm done for the day with them, I'll put them in a laundry bag. And then that way, at the end of my trip, I just throw this in the laundry. And we're set. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you picked up a couple of tips or this was somehow entertaining for you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.